what's up you guys welcome back to another video in today's video we're going to continue in the uh, the the series continue in the in the fashion sorry that we have been and that is watching highlights particular highlights um, of the 40 yard dashes from the 2020 NFL scouting combine today uh, we're looking at the defensive lineman probably the biggest guys we're going to see running this this 40 yard dash and uh, I have been told uh, in a previous video by the commentators that there is one guy that runs a 5'11 um, at a ridiculous size and weight and um, you know I'm looking forward to seeing that but but I'm looking forward to seeing all of them will there be a lineman that runs a 6 something I assume there probably will be and I assume he's going to be an absolute monster and that's what the linemen are about so let's get into it guys lineman defensive lineman running the 40 yard dash at the 2020 scouting combine and I'm going to give you my thoughts. So let's go. I swear I like your style. Put you in Chanel because it's just perfect for your smile. Girl, I swear for you, I run the world, I run the miles. The way you look at me, I think I'm going insane. Drills after 40s that start with McTelvin. McTelvin again. McTelvin. <laughs> McTelvin. Yeah, that's a great number for him, and put it into context here. That is a great number. Here he goes. Four nine seven. That's good. That's a good number too. There was a quarterback that ran slower than that. <laughs> he looks funny, man. His his head is completely still. <laughs> Look at it, it's like it's it's floating on a on a, a gimbal. Look at this. His body's moving so much, but his head's completely still. That's not right. He was moving better than that. Shot, bro. Let's go, son. Five two two. Yesterday with Tristan, Wir Tristan Wirfs, what he ran and what the other big guys ran, we'll see that with these players, but we'll also see the versatility of a lot of guys as we go in deeper into the day. Look, we're not playing Madden, mate. 51 games he played in in Auburn. This was pretty good. He is huge. Let's just get this guy's height just for reference. Marlon Davidson. Got to be 6'5". Well, for a start, he's 22 years old, 6'3", 300 pounds. Insane. Big men moving. Big men moving fast. To say the least. I'll take your word for it. I, I use the tunnels. Oh, man. It's more like Good start. Person, Carlos Davis of good start. Go. Yes. That is a very good time it's a fantastic Davis. time by Carlos Davis. Right now. And now the other Davis, if you will, from... Nebraska, Khalil. Whoa, even better. Holy shit, man. How, how heavy is this guy? Khalil Davis. Just got a 479. Uh, how the fuck do I search on this fucking page? Khalil Davis. 6'1", 308 pounds. That's two athletes. Guys have track experience. Jordan Elliott. Mizzou. That guy could play running back, the other guy, before. For loss leader of Missouri, running a 503 right there. He's got a chance to be a second round pick. And then, let's check. Hang on, man. Khalil Davis could literally be a running back. Did they mention anything about that? The more polished and disruptive of the Davis twins. Khalil's agility and lateral quickness improve his standing as a run defender and pass rusher. He is definitely a little undersized for a lineman. And, and holy shit, would you look at this guy's legs. Check on the 40 yard dash time of Lecky Fotu. Lecky Fotu, I wonder where this guy's from. Man, Rich. Like he bowling balled himself down. 5-1-6. Lecky Fotu. Is that... How... Nebraska? Hawaii? University? Some American Indian... Uh, feathers there. Licky Fotu, where are you from, man? Where's that name from? Utah. A Tongan American. Defensive tackle. He plays for Utah. Um, okay, Utah football. 
logo. That doesn't look like Utah, surely. Utah, really? Huh. I swear it was something else. Hmm, maybe not. Let's continue. It's so powerful. Tongan. We'll put it on for this one for Neville Gallimore. Shot Nev. That's incredible. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. Santiago. He's throwing out guys from his knees. Oh man. Five, three, six. You gotta get your Padres back in the mix a little no, bit more. Wait, wait, wait. You're getting there. Machado's gonna have a bounce back here. Yeah, to, to the folks at LSU, they speak very highly of Lawrence. Explosive. Five oh eight. Now the ten yard split here, uh, obviously we it, it's both guys aren't set up at fourteen. Where where Mahomes are, right? He's, he got He's definitely moving. Wow! Got up to top speed real fast. Uh, the Wolfpack, NC Stater. 505. Really solid number. Okay. Now from Michigan State, Raquan Williams. It's all really good numbers here. He's almost 6'4 doing that, huh? And then Robert Windsor. He is a bull in a china shop when you watch him. <laughs> yeah, Rob. Yeah, Rob. Outstanding time. Nice work. Do we call a stunt with him a Windsor knot? <laughs> Thank you very like much. Hey, you know what? We're just getting started. Yeah. Uh, he pulled up a little bit. Well, here's Akeem with his second run right there. So obviously something's up with that leg of his. Lock, lock. Oh, he got out. Yes, he did. Nice wee improvement. 0.06 part per second's better. He's got some shock in his hands, too, as athletic as he is. Okay, so we corrected the first run, as you pointed out, 5-1-1, and that's about it. Is that Auburn? It's a big man, Rich. 5-1-1, you'll take that. Again, that's the same time as we had back to... Crazy 50 pounds more. I still can't believe what I saw last night. <laughs> what did you see last night? Maybe it wasn't in the defensive lineman. Maybe it was in the. Uh, who haven't I seen? The linebackers. Remember when we used to have a bunch of slug defensive tackles and. Those days are over. These guys can all move. Three times? Marlon Davidson is the SEC Defensive Player of the Week four times. Great player, also a first-round pick on that Auburn defensive. Holy team. shit, man! Five minutes older than Khalil is three one hundredths of a second slower. Fuck! So these guys are twins, and they're literally just as lethal as each other, running four eights, four Great sevens time. at three hundred pounds. Marlon Davidson is the SEC Defensive Player of the Week four times. Great player, also a first-round pick on that Auburn defensive line. Five minutes older than Khalil is three one hundredths of a second slower. Ow, and we can, we can make that Khalil's Wow. Birth, That's faster than some running backs, man. Eventually became three hundred athletes. Gallimore flew the first time. Let's see what he does here. He's fucking flying again. Even better. He loved watching him play, and as soon as he took his official visit to Norman, he knew that definitely was the place for him. I had a talk with Joe Washington. Remember little Joe Washington, the great player? <laughs> it's definitely buzzy hearing that guy's voice. Well done. Nice improvement. about coming out last year, Derek Brown and some of these defensive players, I would think the quarterback would take the precedent there. Got to protect him. Fuck, he's quick. 4-8-3. Four, eight, three. The foremost expert on the injury is expected to perform the procedure. It's a six to eight week recovery, more likely eight weeks. But... What's this school? And the Spartan better. The Spartan. Top. Guy plays with a lot of effort. Yeah, Rob. And he runs that way too. Robert Windsor, he looks big, man. He looks like six, six four. I'm gonna say. 
Uh, what do we got here? Robert, Robert Windsor. There he is, the big man himself, and he's 6'4", 285. Wowee. He has played a college career um, for Penn State of four years. And now, he's putting himself in the combine and eligible for the draft. Good luck. slower than you want. I'll, I'll give you the numbers here, Rich. If you look at the top 11. He's going to want to run a little bit better than that on the next go-round. Stood straight up and stood right out. AJ Ipaniza. You are number 99 in high school. That was a nice start. Come on, follow through. Well done. That's a running back. <laughs> so is that. That's not. <laughs> North Texas. I've got some North Texas gear. Wow! Alex Highsmith. He just ran a 4.7 flat. You're kidding me. 4.7 at 6.3250. That's Derek Henry. Curious about some of the teams that were interested in trading for him last year. Maybe the Eagles, uh, as far as his market, but I know Clowney's going to have a huge one. And then you look at Rich, the, the different players that could be. Yeah, 13 and a half sacks. That's a good way to go out. Again, don't don't worry about the 501. The, the 173 is pretty good. It's not bad. Make some plays. So AJ Evanessa looked at very highly and also a very diverse athlete when he was in high school. You know, I think it almost felt like the beginning of a rebuild there. But we've talked about them going up. That's a really nice good time. time. Town evaluators. This guy's a lineman? Robinson. That's a really great time where the on field drills happen. Holy shit, these guys are fast. And your Shepherd of Ole Miss here. Really good start, really good finish. LSU Heisman Trophy International Champion. He's going to work out at LSU's Pro Day. He's moving. It's James Smith Williams. He is moving. It's a 4 6 2 40, which What? Is Sorry, I wasn't even looking at the time. I was looking at his freaking legs. National Champion. He's going to work out at LSU's Pro Day. He's moving. It's James Smith Williams. He is moving. It's a 4 6 2 40, which is, as you can see, seeing doctors getting tested over and over again. Jason Strobridge of Carolina. Solid time for a guy of that size. You can ace everything we see in these field drills. Fuck you know, what a beast. Reach over and shake his hand, but we won't, because he's too busy evaluating. <laughs> really good numbers by Tuska from North Dakota State. What a football program they have there. Ten and a half sacks, a bunch of them came against I've got some North Dakota State stuff too. It's a nice ten yard split. So I don't know if you can get any higher, but he's still got 4-9. Four, four it's all right. The entire week when they were under the watchful eye of everyone here. One of the questions Holy shit, he took like 18 strides. Let's have a look. Now, I often talk about how many strides they take, and if you're, if you're between 18 and 19 strides as you pass the finish line, you've, you've definitely got a, a long stride. So let's see. It's always interesting. Your own device. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen and a half. Yeah, he's got a massive stride. <laughs> one of the questions I know that's a good time. I know one of the questions some people at home wonder about but is why is everybody lined up with their own individual stopwatch when you have an electronic time? Well, I like it from a scouting standpoint because if I have a big grade on somebody You'd be amazed how my, my finger can be a little bit quicker. 
Jabari Zuniga of Florida with a 1-6-4 split and a 4-6-6-40. Well, while we were gone in commercial break. Crazy. Top of the order, if you will, the first defensive lineman of this group to run. So that's what Bradley Nye is right there. Okay, there you go. Good tent split. Moved his time. Let's see if Kendall Coleman could in his second run. Could not. Did go sub five there. And these are unofficial times. We'll get an official time in short order. Juan Davis. Coming down at you. He could have worked out with the interior players as well. <sighs> this is your Daniel Jeremiah second best pass rusher in the draft behind Chase Young and he improves his time. I think when he gets to his pro day you'll see that get below five. Friendly friendlier stopwatches on okay. Yeah he just plays a little bit faster than the time you saw there. Jonathan Garvin. That's a solid oh, run. You. Spider. Stick with his first time. And we're back live now. Jonathan Greener of Florida. 488 the first time, and he'll stick with that time. Here for the start. I'm sorry, but some of these guys' fucking asses are so huge. You just think that's like the motor right behind their running. It's like it's just it is. It's literally like the motor. Crazy man. I'm just gonna go out. Yeah. If, if, if the medical on Tua is as clear as we, he's got a four eight. Ah, oh, almost. If it's as clear as I think, so many other nice necklace though. That could affect That's gonna the change the whole landscape. Of course, especially if it might change who goes first or second. Also, Chauncey Rivers. Oh, well, let's use some of our simul cam. Rivers. Malcolm Roach, Texas. A terrific 40. Uh, Go Roachy. First time, big man. Could not approve. 489 from Texas. Playing fast enough. Time and that 10-yard split is so crucial because again, you can see as you call it, Daniel, the get off. Get to the quarterback. What well, we assume within 10 yards of the line of scrimmage, unless it's Patrick Mahomes. Alton Robinson. Let me see this guy's stats. 469. Looks like a straight up running back. What? Six foot three, 264 pounds, and a 46940. Twitched up, edge rusher. I'm assuming twitched up means that, you know, they've got those, those fast twitch muscles and they're explosive. Agile. He's a twitched up edge rusher with exciting potential to become a disruptive factor in NFL backfields with a more skilled and willful approach. He has the burst and bend to become a pass rushing problem for tackles early in his career but his approach is too one trick and needs workable counters to become less predictable. Well he's got the speed, he's got the athleticism. 6'3 running a 4.69 at 260 pounds. Fuck me dead! Well done! Syracuse Orange and now Ole Miss. Reb. Just trying to improve the time there. We're back live now here on our And we're cast. live with Smith Williams. Here's the challenge. As we watch him rip off of taking off and getting that field. Oh my god. Maybe you put him I was gonna say there's no way he can improve on that, but he did. And putting him in again, you mean between two blockers instead of lining him up head up or asking him to sit Strobridge of UFC now here's Tuska three. talk about the other side of production Tuska had 13 and a half sacks and 19 tackles for loss for the Bison there at uh, North Dakota State boost Michigan State Spartans. Definitely a much better time. That's that's, that's good for him. I mean, to me, he was an effort player with average. How big's this guy, Kenny Willeeks? 
six foot four, two sixty. Bit off when you study him. I'd see a lot of bursts, but he, yeah, I, I would say the effort is, is top shelf. I appreciate that. The production. You can stop your evaluation there. Four sevens a pretty good time. Obviously, the one hundredth of a second's different, but. Zuniga is the last 40 of a defensive lineman in the 20. Jabari Zuniga. Nice Costanza walk off 464. Four. We've had a lot of that this combine. Yes. Haven't we? The last rep, the best rep. Zabari Zuniga just ran a 464. Four. He's the last man of the day. Let's look him up. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I got it around the wrong way. 64245. Um, Damn. Okay, well, that is that. That was the defensive uh, lineman running the 40-yard dash. In the next video, we have the linebackers running the 40-yard dash. Following that, we've got the defensive backs, which are almost always the fastest, although we have seen a 4-2-7. And I think that's pretty much it, guys. So we've got two more videos to go. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I want to wish you well. I want to say have a fantastic day wherever you are in the world. And, uh, well, let's do this shit. Peace out.